Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. What I wanted to cover today was one of my favorite plugins in all of the SketchUp universe, and it's called the Medeek Foundation plugin. Um, it can be found on the SketchUp store, it can be found on Sketchucation, um, and it can also be found um, on uh, Nathaniel Wilkerson's uh, webpage, design.medeek.com. Go ahead and head over there, and you can uh, see, he's got a ton of plans uh, for free PDF sets, um, as well as some things for purchase. Um, but then he also just has a ton of great resources for design if you're doing your own, des own design. Uh, he's got services, plugins, uh, calculators, all types of engineering and design stuff that can be really useful for you guys. Besides the plugins, um, he's got some really great stuff as well. All right, guys, let's jump right in. What I like to do is just start off with a little square. So I'm going to do a 10 foot by 10 foot. So get us started. So here I'm going to take out, let's do the slab on grade tool. Slab on grade, rectangle, okay. Start by drawing a line and then dragging it out. So here's where you can change the geometry um, and some of the settings of your slab. So what's awesome about this is there are a ton of customizations that you can do so that your slab or wall or column or footer is exactly what you want it to be. So um, you can go ahead and select all these. Most of these are pretty code compliant. Um, that's also what I like about some of Nathan's stuff is that he gets you kind of right in there with international residential code or other code books. You know, obviously in your area it might be a little bit different, but but these are usually pretty good. So go ahead, select through it, top bar, all kinds of stuff here that you can really customize your footing. All right, and as you can see, that was really easy. So here what we have is a complete slab on grade foundation with an extended footer. Sometimes what I like to do is come in here and throw a uh, concrete flavor to it. Um, don't really need to. But it can kind of give you that look. So um, that was really easy. As you can see, the anchor bolts are done as well as the, as well as the rebar reinforcement. I'm going to show you guys here what a section cut looks like, and this is kind of the coolest part. Do a section cut here and you guys can see how accurate this really is. Go to line view. All right, now take a look at that. Here we have, uh, you got the section cut here, we've got the rebar, we have the wire welded mesh, um, and then you can also see we have the anchor bolts with the nut and everything. And as you can see, if I were to put a plate in here, this would fit, my plate would fit right in there. Um, and it's actually at the right height as well as placement off of the edge of the slab. So uh, one of my favorite plugins here, guys, because you can just create really easy, beautiful concrete foundations that are just so simple. Um, they're dynamic. They have all kinds of extra tidbits in there. Um, and like I said, you can also do this with foundation walls, stem walls. You can do it with a regular slab. You can do uh, columns as well. This is one of the best uh, apps out there that really takes your sketch up and turns it into something that is more closely resembling a construction document program like an Autodesk product, like an Archicad product. Um, so I'm going to put some links on the side here and you can check out, check out his website, check out all the resources that he has on the website. And then you guys can download the free trial. Hopefully you guys will think about buying the plugin. I think it is a great value for just $15. It's one of the best values out there. And I suggest you guys take a look at it. Thanks for watching our video. Um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can get updated on all our newest videos. Also, go ahead and click the links below so you can see our social media profiles as well as our website.